So today we're going to revisit the chart for Bill Gates. There are a cancer charts and Gemini charts. I happen to believe he really fits the Gemini description. Um, so if you looked at the eastern horizon when he was born, you would see the constellation of uh, Gemini rising at 22 degrees. Um, that becomes the most effective point of every house, any planet like Mercury like Venus, like Rahu and K2, which are planetary nodes of the moon, um, would have a lot of impact in the chart. So let's uh, look to see how the planets are operating and then we're going to look to see when the planets are operating. So again, Bill Gates has been in the news a lot, um, helping with the coronavirus, the funding uh, competition between different companies to come up with uh, treatment and vaccines. Um, very controversial. You know, a lot of people th feel he's evil or a villain. Some most people feel he's a philanthropist with a good good intention. Um, so let's look at the chart and see what kind of conclusions we can come up with by looking at his chart. So let's look and uh, we know that for Gemini. The only challenging planets are Rahu and K2 because they are functionally malefic for every um, chart. There are no multicona signs in the 6th, the 8th, or the 12th, Dustana, or challenging houses. Um, so that and Rahu and K2 are close to the most effective point. So they can be afflicting 5, 7, and 9 houses away, Six, basically 6 out of his 12th houses. Um, but uh, we'll talk about how to transform Rahu and K2 and you'll find out that he's been doing that basically most of his uh, adult life so um, through charities um, so let's look at uh, how the planets are operating whether they're weak or strong and what kind of gifts that they gave Bill very highly successful guy um, so Sun at, uh, and little bit about my history. I um, was very fortunate to be on the design team for the first Microsoft building and, you know, utilize the principles of Vastu to put Bill Gates in the southwest corner to have more influence or control over the company, set up his desk to face east for creativity and north for analytical uh, abilities uh, to support the success of the company. So let's look uh, at the planets. Sun is at 11 degrees, rules the house of entrepreneurial success, and it is placed in with uh, two other planets in the house of uh, investments, children, creativity, uh, past life karma, and uh, as well as... Um, education. So he did have higher, higher education. So basically it gives this entrepreneurial success through his organizational executive abilities. Those are the, you're connecting, you know, the qualities of the sun, the leadership qualities of the sun, able to get along with governments, support from father. All of those things are true. It is debilitated, so it could be strengthened but gave him uh, really good uh, business communication skills. This is the house of business and communication, uh, and that's what he's all about. Um, then let's look at Moon. Moon is at 14 degrees, and it is ruling the house of wealth, recognition, and the continuation of the family. So... Uh, it's placed in the house of career. So he, ha he had wealth and recognition through working with the public. Moon is public and, and through his career um, and, and through the influence of his mother. He was very antisocial as a child, brilliant, you know, got the highest the math exam, you know, on the math, statewide math exam that they'd ever had. Um, uh, but uh, uh, this um, moon uh, created a lot of influence for his mother at a very early age. She could see that he was antisocial, wouldn't come out of his room, only wanted to read, didn't want to 
have friendships or anything like that. And she was a strong influence. They had a lot of conflict at an early age. You know, she demanded that he, she was uh, involved in lots of charitable organizations and he, she demanded that he, you know, interact socially and really got him out of his shell. And without that influence at an early age, he probably wouldn't be successful to be the public leader and figure that he was. He would be, you know, in a room with a computer programming somewhere, not influencing the world. So, and uh, yeah, so I think it made it, it gave him some sensitivity, um, gave him an expansive vision. Um, and, you know, this uh, punya, which is plat, past life uh, karma, to be successful. It's blessed, uh, uh, Mercury blesses the moon, moon blesses, uh, let's see, no, excuse me. Uh, yeah, that's it. I think that's main, the main thing there. So then uh, let's look at um, moon blesses Mars. So Mars gives that crea uh, competition, gives that um, a competitive uh, edge that he has and the drive and passion combined with moon, compassion, working with the public. So those are all true. So then here we are with uh, Mars. Mars gives income, rules the house of income. It's placed in the house of happiness and family and property. And so it gives income through properties. Um, he has, you know, over 50 buildings. I've been in a lot of those, most of them. Um, he gives, uh, it, it's, um, again, aspected by moon, gives income through uh, Mars's engineering or computer engineering. So income through computer engineering skills, courage to start up new companies and invest in new companies this competitive nature to win, uh, you know, uh, gives him wealth and status through a lot of properties that he owns. Um, then Mercury's at 23, 23 degrees, close to the most effective point, uh, gives him ha, strong intellect. So it rules the house of happiness and property and um, family and uh, vehicles really into transportation and so mercury is all about communication analytical you know brain power really wonderful um if you get a chance listen to the netflix series uh inside bill's brain three-part series gives you a great insight into you know what he's been working on and the compassion he has to solve the problems of the world whether it's environmental or disease um so uh, gives him uh yeah happiness through home life it's afflicted by k2 but i can't think k2 gives a kind of a spiritual quality to his highly analytical abilities so Mercury can be critical, pull things apart, or it can pull things together So um, through analysis. And that, I think, influence of K2 on Mercury makes him want to synthesize, bring people and, you know, ideas together, communication ability, bring the world together through communication, through, through software and, and um, computers. Um, let's see here, uh, amazing avid reader, uh, writ, write, riddle, wrote a lot of, uh, software, uh, so that's also publishing, um, Jupiter's also publishing, so Jupiter rules the house of partnerships, so he couldn't have done anything what he'd done without this partnership with Paul Allen and all the other, you know, uh, individuals that he brings together to solve the problems of the world, and you know, form the company that he did, um, Microsoft and its success. So Jupiter in the house of entrepreneurial success. Um, so partnerships gave that entrepreneurial success and ability. Also Jupiter is teaching, um, higher education. It gives him beautiful children. Venus, 
Venus is close to, again to the most effective point, just slightly weak. Any planet that's more than 25 degrees or less than 5 degrees um, is said to be um, adolescence or old age, cannot protect or promote its own signification, but just slightly. So gives Venus gives the creativity, the visionary abilities, um, uh, children, intelligence, persistence, uh, wealth through investing. This is in House of Investments, um, socks, and a beautiful, brilliant, intelligent wife to balance out, you know, give that feminine balance to that highly male brain power that he has. Compassion. Um, then let's see, Saturn is really an important planet for him. Also a little bit weak because it's in old age. Um, but it's ruling Aquarius in the uh, ninth house. Gives good fortune through hard work, determination, all the qualities of Saturn, uh, relentless determination, um, and service. Saturn is the planet of service. Um, and then Aquarius is also, you know, helping the world, social justice. Um, so it's exalted and it's conjunct to Venus. So they're together, they're working together with this hard work and intelligence and creativity and visionary abilities um, to create this very powerful uh, company. Um, then Rahu and K2. So K2 gives this desire for spiritual growth and uh, also in an early age I think it made him very antisocial, feeling very separate in his own head because he was so brain powered. And then here we have Rahu giving desire to help, to be of service, to heal the world of all these terrible diseases. So they're working together and um, and again five seven and nine houses away afflicting those houses so one two three four five family and happiness uh, you know lack of peace of mind uh, trying to solve the problems of the world uh, six seven um, again service um, this can also affect the peace of mind uh, eight nine so you know research into you know these va healing vaccines I also had a part in the path building which was you know creating these vaccines for third world countries um, and then K Rahu is one two three four five affecting the ups and downs in career he had the anti antitrust lawsuit uh, six, seven, again, uh, losses, uh, lost that court case um, with antitrust uh, with the government. Uh, eight, nine, you know, disturbance in the family at an early age, a lot of conflict with his parents because they wanted him to be more social and get out of his room. Uh, so uh, that, and then, um, and then Rahu, yeah, gives that huge desire for wealth recognition also. So let's look at the timing of events. He was born in a Saturn period. Huge, you know, his life purpose all about serving other people and uh, strong will and determination and, and hard work and discipline. Um, then he, um, the first um, computer uh, was um, uh, in 1975. He invented the, one of the first computers during a Mercury Saturn, Mercury's IT communication computers and Saturn hard work. 81 started Microsoft. Again, hard work, discipline, good fortune, um, K2, kind of a visionary uh, spiritual influence there. Uh, 86, the public, uh, company became public. 
81 was actually when we designed the Microsoft building. So it would, they moved from Albuquerque to Bellevue. So first building there as well. Um, and Mercury would have been, yeah, so that's property. Uh, then um, became public in uh, Venus, Saturn, hard work, Venus, investing in, uh, you know, a public company, uh, opening up to the investors. In 94, he got married during a Venus-Jupiter period. So Jupiter uh, relationship, marriage, um, Venus wife. Uh, mom died in um, 94, major influence on his life. Um, also during the Venus-Jupiter uh, period. So end of one relationship, start of another. Um, let's see here. Uh, the antitrust lawsuit, um, you know, it was in 2000, 2001, uh, Venus, uh, approaching a Venus K2 period, K2 again losses, Venus loss of investment. Uh, let's see here. And then now he's in this Mars Rahu period. So Rahu giving huge ambition and desire to, to solve the coronavirus problem and also, but also uh, having two sides, a lot of criticism um, with the reputation. Um, so all of that going on. So what could we do to improve his chart? Well, he's improving his chart. Otherwise he wouldn't be successful. Giving to charities from a very early age, helping other people. Uh, they cannot help themselves, Rahu. Uh, that's transforming the Rahu influence on these other houses. K2, giving to spiritual organizations. Um, again, helping other people. So those are being transformed, the malefics. And then the other planets. Um, you could say that he could wear a pearl to improve um, you know, his wealth. You could say he could wear a red coral to improve his income. You could say he could have um, um, a red, a green emerald to support his happiness. Uh, you could have a ruby to support his entrepreneurial success. Uh, you could have a uh, blue sapphire to support um, he has good fortune and discipline and hard work, but he really had most all of those things going for him. But I think that um, the you know uh, the trouble that he had with the government that would have been in this house. So Saturn, in old age, could have been improved, um, and um, you know. Uh, some family disturbance could have been improved by Mercury. So another way that he could have done it, instead of having jewels on every finger, uh, would be a kavash containing the Devata Yantras uh, for all of these planets and very economical and not so conspicuous way to improve uh, the chart. Thank you for listening. If you're interested in a... Um, Vedic medical or astrology reading, you can go to uh, under services at vastucreations.com with an S. Uh, if you want to learn this transformation of Vedic astrology, you could go to American Institute of Vastu.com. Uh, we have a level one and level two certification. So again, thank you for listening.